Okay, now time for star number five? No, six. Pyramid puzzle. Oh, God. Okay, this one... I have to admit, this one isn't really all that fun, but... It's not all that hard. It, it's just extremely cryptic. But, like the name suggests, well, as little hint as the star gives you, you have to go inside the pyramid. It's not around the pyramid, you have to go inside of it. That was weird. It's like Mario disappeared. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you the shortcuts to getting up there. Hop on this guy, whose name is Grindle, by the way. I don't know why they called him that. They could have just made him a thwomp. Whoa, that was close. That's about as short as shortcuts can get. Ouch. Thanks for that. That guy's name's Spindle, I think. I don't know. In the strategy guide, it showed me like all the, all the names of everything. So yeah, I think their names were Spindle and Grindle. Or was it Spindle and Grindle or something? I don't know, I don't know how it's supposed to be pronounced. All I know is how to spell it. But I thought it was supposed to go with like... Like the, like the worst one they do. Like one spins and then one grinds. Oh shit, no! Ah, frick. Oh, I'll, I'll meet you back up there. God, I cannot believe that happened. Yeah, you're too slow, dude. Okay, now that we got back here... Now you'll notice this little break in the wall, in the railing right here. Just drop down here. One. Jump across the sand waterfall. Two. Jump across the sand waterfall again. Three. Jump in the sand. Four. Five. And there we go. Yep, that's how you do it. In the DS version, these things are replaced by silver stars, but it's basically the same thing. Yeah, I it. Here we go. And I think it's called, like, the Pyramid Silver Stars in that one. Okay, so we're all done with uh, Shifting Sandland, right? Yeah, okay. So, we're doing really, really well. Except for the fact that I can't get the 100 coin star in Hazy Maze Cave. But I'll figure that out eventually. So we're gonna head in here now. Here's where Course 9 is. This is, where, this is also where the next Bowser stage is. So this is Course 9, Dire Dire Box. The first one is called Board Bowser Sub. Awesome. So swim all the way through here. The music here is really cool. Like the like the like the music will change and they'll add like different beats to it depending on what part of the area area you're in, whether you're in the water or on the land. And it's really cool how they did that. So there's Bowser submarine. I don't know why he needs a submarine, but whatever. Yeah, you can hear the music changing. Oh, that's close. Whoa, wow, it's even closer. And there we go, the star is just sitting right on top of the place. Also, you can get up here. And I think you can even get up there. Can you? Nope. Okay, never mind then. Yeah. And then you'll see the wall get pushed back. And then it'll reveal another hidden area. And we're gonna jump in here right away. Yep, this is Bowser in the Fire Sea. This is the second Bowser stage. 
And are you ready for some Ninja Gaiden stuff here? This is where Mario really starts to show off his ninja skills. I'm not, I'm not kidding. God damn it. Okay, and like in Bowser in the Dark World, there are also a red coins here, so we'll be getting that star too. Here, watch this. See, it's so Ninja Gaiden-esque, isn't it? <laughs> and with this pole into this cage, there's another red coin up here. Ah, hug on the wall, Mario. Okay, the next red coin is below this platform here, so jump on it and then get off. And then we just gotta line ourselves up in the middle and... Got it. Take that, Goomba! Aw, oh, man, that pole got in the way. I wanted to be a ninja again. Ah! Sorry, that wasn't supposed to happen, of course. Oh, but duh, I didn't try to jump on the wall or anything. It wasn't my fault! More Ninja Gaiden-esque movements here. <laughs> Seriously, yeah, you can pretty much do anything with Mario in this game. Especially in, like, Super Mario Sunshine. He is such a freaking ninja in that game. Because now he can, like, slide on walls and stuff. Like, god, why? Like, did Mario go train in Japan sometime between Super Mario 64 and Super Mario Sunshine? I don't know. No, 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 no! Ah! I think we got all the red coins so far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we do. The next one is actually pretty hard to notice. It's right there. Sometimes I miss that one just because it's like camouflage in the fire. Over there. Ninja Gaiden! There's the last one. No 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 Oh god, we're not gonna get hung up there. Okay, watch this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on! How is Mario not a ninja? Here we go! Come on, not even Rio Hayabusa can do that. So we jump in this funnel looking thing. And we get more of this badass music. How stream me again, are you Mario? Can't you see I'm having a merry time making mischief with my minions? Now return those stars. My troops in the walls need them. Run! Oh my god! The first time I saw this, my god, that scared the hell out of me. So I kinda missed my chance, but same concept. Grab Bowser's tail and throw him in a throw him out of bomb. Someone can get Bowser? How was that? <laughs> Ugh, can it be that I've lost? The power of the stars failed me this time. Consider this a draw. Next time I'll be in perfect condition. Now if you want to see your precious princess, come to the top of the tower. God, I had a horrible lisp right there. I'll be waiting. So he explodes again, and we get another key! <laughs> Bowser, fire sea, clear! Okay, now what can we do? Love only like 40 minutes? Wow, this will only be in like the third video. Uh, who's talking to me? Oh, I'm that guy. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna go into Dire Dire Docks and get some more stars. Maybe go to like 45 minutes, or maybe a little bit afterwards. I don't know. Chests in the current. Oh god, this one is hard. Alright, so basically, we have to open up these chests in order, but we also have to try not to die. <laughs> There's a whirlpool in the middle, and they'll kill you instantly. That's right, it's another death trap. I really don't like this one because I always get it wrong for some reason. Oh god. 
And it'll, it'll, yeah, and the thing will like suck you backwards, and it's really annoying. Okay, there we go. But the order it goes in is like in a is like in a clockwise thing. Like it goes around in a circle, so I think it's this one. Right? Okay, no, I was going the wrong way. If I had this, if I saw the strategy guide, I would be able to tell where it was. But not only will I probably never be able to find the strategy guide again, it's probably in such horrible condition that I won't be able to read it. And the third one. In the DS version, they actually got rid of this whole thing. Um, I believe that there's only like one chest, and you open it, and then the star appears. Although I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. It's been a while since I played the DS one. Oh god. Okay, that's the last one, believe it or not. And god damn it! Get back here! Okay.